Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archdemon, the English demon of the internet, and I welcome you back to Lucius, where we have a small little task for us today. For you see, we can go fishing. A very lovely treat, don't you think? And what's more lovely than fishing? Popping birds. <laughs> Took a while. But no matter. So Mr. Old McFerguson has offered to take us on his boat. He was more than willing to take us on his boat. And as, as a fishing trip, as to say thanks for helping us fix his boat. Very nice of the old man, isn't it? Most indeed. Now, because he's not in my book, I am more than likely going to be blind for trying to kill this man. So, this should be good. So, old McFerguson had a boat. E-I-E-I-O. And on that boat, he's gonna die. Hi there, matey. Glad you could finally grace us with your presence, young lad. I'm happy to. Shall we set sail, then? Grab those ropes, will ya? And hop on board the ship, aye? Alright. There we go, then. Ooh. Yes. We throw the ropes away. And we prepare to chug, chug, chug out into the waters. Ah, this should be a nice fishing trip, won't it, Mr. Ferguson? <laughs> oh, don't mind me, I just have a nervous twitch laugh. <laughs> it's, uh, it comes across a bit evil to most people. Hmm. So... How far out are we? You know, boy, there are actually sharks in these waters. Oh, they? They connect straight to the Atlantic, and there's lots of food for them on this side. So be careful not to tip over. Especially if you're bleeding. They can smell even a drop of blood from a quarter mile away. Ooh. You're actually just the right size to mix up with a seal or something. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. The shark attacks are still quite rare here. I'm just messing with you. I'm sure you are, but I won't be messing with you for long. <laughs> right, you better keep the anchor up. Don't All right. scare them fishies away. Here's the rod. You take a bait from the bucket here, attach it to the line, and hope for the best. I'll be on the other rod there. A bait from the bucket? What bait? Oh. A can of worms, probably used for bait. Uh... What does this do? A lever. Turn it. Oh! That's pretty big and fancy. Hello, Mr. Ferguson. How's it going for you? My journal is absolutely useless for this, which is a shame, because I would like to read what it or what it's meant to be saying about it all. Oh, well. Put the worm on the fishing rod. A fishing rod? I should attach a bait to it. Hmm, I should check if I caught anything here. It looks like there's some, that, like there is something there. Well, I mean, I haven't attached the bait yet, so I doubt I've caught anything. There we go. Old McFerguson had a boat, E-I-E-I-O, and on that boat he's gonna die, E-I-E-I-O, with a ha-ha here and a ah ah there and a ha-ha-ah-ah-ha-ha ah, 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 everywhere. Old McFerguson had a boat, but not for much longer. Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> Yeah, I've probably caught something by now, right? Fishing doesn't take too long, right? Fish are stupid, right? Yeah, fish are mighty stupid. And greedy, gluttonous things. Hello. Hey, go. Good job, boy. Just keep doing the same. That's not enough for a dinner. Isn't it? 
I'd better get another can of worms then. Also, I can't actually move. All right, there we go. How's the fishing going for you? You caught anything? Ah, Mr. Ferguson, aren't you meant to be the fisherman? Shouldn't you have caught something by now? You're being outdone by me. Now, why can I pick up the bit, the fish? A dead fish. What's that used for? Don't I need the, the worms for another bait? Um, attach the fish to it. Ah, so this is how we're going to go catch a shark. We're going to lure them in using the bait, the bait that is a fish. <laughs> oh, so good. Well... Let's take a look at our catch. I can't wait to see this lovely shark that we caught. Well. Okay, the sharks are small in this place. What the hell? That's quite a catch you got there, lad. Thanks, Mr. Ferguson. You're quite the natural of this. Barely caught anything yet. Keep up the good work, boy. Barely caught anything? Last time I checked, you hadn't caught anything. What did you catch, Mr. Ferguson? Mr. Ferguson, are you a liar? Because I don't see anything. And the saying the term barely caught anything usually infers that you have caught something. But I see nothing, which means you're a liar. Then you're just trying to save your pride. And do you know what pride is? One of the great deadly sin, if not the deadliest, I don't think. Which means that you, good sir, have to be punished. And thus, being the devil child that I am, I there's only so much I can do, right? So, let's see if I can catch this fish. A bigger fish. I'm quite proud of this one. It doesn't really make sense to use this as bait, but I can think. But I think I can use it another way. What way is that? Uh, do I use the? No. Crowbar? No. We haven't used the wire cutters yet, so... I Cutters I got from C4. I could cut all sorts of things with these. Maybe metal or even fish. Huh. Alright. Throw the guts overboard. Oh, we're not using them as bait. I mean, we are going to be using them as bait, but not quite the bait you think we are, probably. Yoink! Oh, what the hell are you doing, boy? You can't be throwing carcasses in the water. It's gonna attract sharks there. Oh, is it now? Mr. Ferguson, you're in a very precarious place, and did I not just say you needed punishing? And we already know this thing bashes along, so I can already guess what it's used for. So everyone, Old Mick Ferguson's gotta die, E-I-E-I-O, and how's he gonna die, you ask, E-I-E-I-O, with a snap snap here and a chomp chomp there, snap snap chomp chomp, ah ah! Old Mick Ferguson's gotta die. E I E I O. <laughs> this is what you get for lying to me, now, Mr. Boy, Ferguson. Out a rope for no. Quit staring at here comes your divine punishment! Old Mick Ferguson had a boat Then he got caught by a shark With a chomp chomp here and an ah ah there Chomp chomp snap snap gobble gobble Old Mick Ferguson had a boat E-I-E-I-O <laughs> <laughs> oh. And there's his hat. 
floating to the surface just to show that Mother Nature got the better of him. <laughs> uh. How nice. Well, now what? Okay, now I leave. Oh, what's happening here? So here we go. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God. All right. And for the testimony which they held, they called out in a loud voice, How long, sovereign lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? the fifth seal you have a car right yeah I have my truck I'll gather everyone I can find and drive them to the church you look so hole, sleepy right? right there what's wrong with your eyes yeah that thing's been there you for look like years. you're barely paying no attention storm, like oh, I'm either. so high right now this can't really be happening right you shouldn't be high on the job mr. detective Especially as you're the sergeant detective. The burning love of Christ. This must be part of the sixth seal. Listen to this. I watched as the land broke the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake. The sun became as dark as black cloth, and the moon became as red as blood. It's happening, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, it's definitely happening. So we need to do one more thing then. We need to spill a lot of blood. Yeah. Yeah! It says that the moon turns red with blood. That's where everyone will be in a storm like this. We better get there ourselves. The church is a perfect place for you to do this. Alright. We managed to turn this place into a sacrilegious mountain before. Should be no problem. Oh, I'm sure it won't be, Mr. McGuffin. Once you get in, I'll bar the door from the outside. That way no one will be able to get out. You can uh, go crazy in there. Okay. Just paint the moon as red as you possibly can. Again, when did we break the fifth seal? Because I don't think me killing Mr. Ferguson broke the fifth seal. What do you want, Gabriel? Are you really sure this is what you want to do? Of course! I've told you before, it's not gonna bring your son back. Oh, who cares? What's going to happen here is, Lucifer is gonna come up and bring forth the rapture. Yeah! Lucius is not your son, Jack. It's the devil's son. You're gonna be cast aside when he comes here. And you will have to spend eternity in purgatory. Alright. While your son and wife stay up there in heaven. I know the boy kind of reminds you of your son, but the only way for you to spend time with your real son is to fight back against this madness. In all fairness, you haven't done anything that terrible yet. What God kind of angel smokes a cigarette? Him. You just have to accept Jesus Christ as your Seriously. Savior and prove that you are what worthy. What kind of angel like a father to that smokes kid. a he cigarette? Listen to you. The devil's side of him will not be able to resist the temptation. That's your key. Together, you can take down the Prince of Darkness. Don't try and go... Hello, Lucius. What's we wrong, your son? You didn't think I'd let you kill everyone without fighting back. Oh, yeah? The boy here is no ordinary boy, ladies and gentlemen. I love how he's just looking at the son of like, the devil. Uh, he may not look like much, but believe me, he is all evil. Don't Together listen with to Jack, him. They've been quietly killing people and performing some sort of ritual at their backyard. No, we haven't. I, I know I can't all. talk, but at believe me, all the same. It's all desecrated with evil markings made to look like the four this guy's horsemen a mad and the man. martyrs of God. He killed his own family, 
and everyone I mean, who worked I, I did, him. but I'm a demented little kid, so... This boy is not human. Yes, I am. He is a demon and must be killed. Oh, fuck it. Die! <laughs> what the hell? What the ah, hell? screw it! Burn them all to crisps! <laughs> Time for me to kill kill some piggies. You're all gonna die here. You're all gonna die here. It's time for all of you to die. All in my name. Go ahead and die right here. Bloody hell am I? I was disconnected from my body. Oh Jesus we know Christ, oh why? You didn't think I'd let you kill everyone without fighting back. <laughs> Alright then, Mr. You. He can't get his all. Let's grab it. I think it's time to let you go. Hi! <laughs> At least I saw what happened this time. Um, I mean... What just happened? I think I was meant to game over then. I feel I should reload that to play that properly. Ah, here we go! He can't get his all. COME AT ME, PEASANTS! Die! 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 I can't get you all, did you say? Is that what you said? I'm pretty sure I just did! <laughs> yes, I am the devil's the hell? son. They are all dead. Oh crap, so am I. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to read my book. Hello there. What the hell? You're gonna die now. I hope you realize that. Let's burn this place to the ground. And your soul along with it. <laughs> oh, pitiful little detective. How little did you know? How hard do you think it is to be able to defy me? And I love Lucius's stare of just like, huh, more simpletons trying to think they can outdo me again. What am I going to do with them all? <laughs> yes, they're all dead, Mr. MacGuffin. The seal melted off, so I figured you were done here. Where is everyone? The fifth one? Where's the What? Something is definitely happening out there. I think the portal might be forming already. Yeah, probably. Do we really want your father to rule this place? Obviously. Is that really what we're looking for? Yes. Making him do tests and killing his other children. I mean, what kind Wait. of a father is that? Um. And what happens to me when he gets here, huh? I'm a sinner, and as far as I know, we both might end up as his prisoners. Probably, Don't you but... want to make your own rules? Don't you want to stop these tests and games and rule the place however you like? Maybe you even want to have a kind heart somewhere. Not a bad phrase. You've done everything he's asked, and you've got no rewards whatsoever. That is very you, true. He wouldn't be able to do anything by himself. That is very true. I say true. we go and find the dagger. Hello, even who if you are feel you? Like this is not what you want to do. It's still better to have the option to act in case something goes wrong. 
I think we've had enough ideas from Mr. McGuffin here. Mr. McGuffin! Don't you agree, my boy? You know, it was me who got them to take that road that night. <laughs> I bet you didn't know there was a back door to my kingdom. True. We are now opening something that will allow my full dominion to ravage the earth. But I mean... in the meantime, my trusty old root still does the job quite well. Uh... Such a shame, really. You've done so well for so long. I have done, yes! And just when I was about to take you with me to rule the whole place, I find you here, conniving against me with your friendly detective. What are you on about? I can't talk! Let me defend myself! You don't Maybe know what no I said! Choice but to punish you. You're using this as an excuse to get rid of me! I'm grounding you for a week. And when that week is over, so shall be the rapture. Sadly, I don't know what will happen to you while the whole place burns down with the mortal souls of the sinners. And frankly, I'm so hurt that I might be again. Wow. Okay, Daddy, you're not getting away with that. I thought I liked you, Daddy, but it turns out you're a massive prick. Sooner or later, they all turn. I think it's time to kill Daddy. I think it's time to kill Daddy. Where am I? Is this Dante Manor? November 1st, 1974. Almost midnight. The rapture is beginning. And, uh, and we have a very angry Lucius. MacGuffin is dead. I've been grounded and lost everything I've been, I'd been carrying, except for my notebook. Why did he have to kill Jack? Now I'm sad. I should get try to get out of here without hurting myself. I didn't lose everything, what are you on about? Alright. Is this another Lucas, flashback? Lucas, you scared me. Yeah. Of course I did, mother. That's kinda how I work. I scare people. Now then, um I assume I need to jump over here. There we go. Well done, Lucius. We must figure out a way down. You know, you say a way down, but... Oh, I can't just turn into a bird. Well, that's unfortunate. Well... Let's make ourselves a bridge. And run across. There we go. So. Where am I? Oh, is this stairs? Yeah, they are. Excellent. We're heading down. Oh. I really did have a big manor, didn't I? Then again, I suppose it is a manor, so it makes sense it would be rather big. I think I need that dagger now. I know it's around here somewhere. Sorry about your friend, you. Mr. McGuffin. He had a nice soul. You got him killed! Him. Shame on Lucifer for doing this to you. Now he's out there and trying to fulfill the prophecy by himself. He can't do that, and he's you're useless. here all alone with the rest of mankind. Left to die. Luckily, you can still change things around. Why do you like me? How come you could do that, but I couldn't? Just pick that up and stab Lucifer with it. Then you'll stay as the ruler. And you can do whatever you like. 
No more rules, no more quests. Like what Mr. McGuffin said. You know that pet cemetery near your house? There's a mausoleum at the center of it. Yeah. That's where the back door is. Oh. It's been said that only the wicked can use these back doors. And That's the blood me. inside your veins should hold the key. Obviously, I'm the right son of the devil. Just don't let Lucifer get away with it. Why is the angel encouraging me to sin? Then again, I suppose killing the dip is killing a sin if you're killing the Prince of Darkness. Gabriel directed me towards the dagger. Gabriel wants me to retrieve the dagger of destiny from under the manor. Maybe I should. Maybe I should, indeed. Um. Assuming I can figure out how. Considering there is no light down here and it's rather dark. Wasn't this the wine cellar? Yes, it was. Um. So. Where's this da- wait, if this is the wine cellar, then the secret thing was up be not behind the wine cellar, wasn't it? Was it- Okay, I don't think it was back there. From the looks of it. Oh! Here we go! Oh yes, definitely here we go! The light at the end of the tunnel! Except it's not my death we're going to. No. No, sir. Oh, hello there, you little prick. <laughs> oh, and another little prick. Um, who are you? Corpse of Wayne Pres Wayne Preston. Oh, he was the random guy that we tied to the table to sacrifice, and then we burnt him alive because we attacked him. Because instead, we attack, we burnt my grandfather here. The corpse of Fabius Wagner. This is where it all happens. Mistress. Yes, it is. This is the heart of Dante Manor. <laughs> the master says he'll take his duty from my bloodline. I'm sure you are what he meant. I remember grandfather. And I also remember this key part. The fact you became the sacrifice instead. <laughs> and there, the Dagger of Destiny. I left it here in my grandfather's back. Gabriel told me it holds magical properties. It is said to be the only weapon that can harm the devil, and it can also open the path between heaven and earth. There is a hidden gate some to, to hell somewhere in the cemetery. Well then, can I open? Can I access the map? Of course I can't. Let's go to that cemetery now, shall we? Here's the cemetery. Oh, and we spawn right outside here by taking the fast travel. There's a small mausoleum in the central. In the center. We know. There's, this mausoleum has to be it. I can see a cup over there. A cup? Oh yes, there is a cup. Make a blood offering to the to the to it, shall we? Ooh. Doesn't that hurt, Lucius? Well, I suppose if you're the son of the devil, you probably have supreme healing properties as well, so. Then again, you didn't recover when you got shot in the head. Ooh, that's fancy. The angels turn the cross upside down and just b duck their heads. Ooh. Alright, so there's a lift, is there? How do I get in? Pull the lever? Excellent. It's a strange mechanical device. It has a lever and a coin slot. A coin slot, you say? Ooh, insert the coin of the second horseman. Excellent. What now, though? Do I have to insert... And yet another coin. This must be too much of a coincidence. There must be some meaning behind this. Insert the coin of the third horseman. 
and then the first. I've put a coin from one of the horsemen in. I heard something moving, but it's not moving just yet. Maybe I need more coins from the rest of the horsemen. Drat! I never had a coin from the fourth horseman! Fourth horseman. Fourth horseman. The fourth and final horseman, which is death. Little did they know that the perfect embodiment of the Grim Reaper was lurking among them. I've displayed him to represent the fourth horseman. This completes the horseman and opens the fourth seal. Well, there's his pocket. Why can I inspect the rest of you, though? Well, I just got a call from my work that despite checking yesterday, my work shift has, ch has changed. So I'm going to have to leave this episode here, everyone. Apologies right there if today is a short episode, but tune in next time for what is likely going to be the third and final, the seventh and final episode. Seven, just like the seven seals. So, everyone, it looks like I'm all out of time for today's episode, so what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today? I've been your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English Gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.